please come forward. That's the name and address for the record. Who's Bill Bethany being a niece with Carter. I want you to come out there at 8 o'clock in the morning and try to get from you to Rena. You can't do it. We finally gave up going 41. And now we go toward Valdez. And we finally get out if we look at get out. And then we go down there. And somebody said they wait wait to Mr. Postman said he went up through three stoplights. I believe he through seven or four. I've been all the way back up to where Moody built their, their housing in there. And we're talking about the highways are, I mean, that problem won't be done until after, what, 2016? Or, I mean, you got. We've got a long way before that will ever do. And that east-west corridor would never be fixed unless you put a roundabout on one end, a roundabout on the other end, and a roundabout at both ends of 41 and I mean, It's going to take that sooner or later to fix that. Um, the other thing was, um, so many people have held on to the agricultural land because a lot of them have been told by developers, well, if you wait a little bit longer, then we can buy it and get it done half acre lots and I can pay you more. You know, but they can get paid. You know, what I put into my property and my next door neighbor put in his, and my next and person across the street, they won't get that much money out of, of those three people. And <clears throat> not saying that, you know, I paid $60,000 for my house when I built it. 60000 And I don't think anybody they bought a house in, in uh, Nelson Hills, whatever they built it for, they're ever going to get 10 times out of what they paid for. I mean, what we've done is those homes that have come up here, you've let the people that are going to buy those homes, they haven't got the future that they would have if it was more land to them. And if the home didn't look, Exactly like the person's house next door. And that's, you know, that's, I don't think none of us are out there or against the government. I live on a road that has trailers, it has white people, it has black people, it has all, every, we're very diverse. And it's not that what we want is we just want to have the character. You think it says character. It says homes that are similar to that type of homes. That's not every home looks just like the one next to it. And that's all we're asking for. Is give people a chance. And, uh, what I was going to say is the people that have rules that have agriculture, they would sell if they knew the commissioners that here aren't going to cut the lot size, or aren't going to cut the lot size if we're coming to realtor or try to do it. I mean, not with the limit. I think the land out there, if you look at Snake Nation, 
when that land did, you know, the ten and five acre lots, they all been built on that and stuff. It took a while because people bought the land and then saved money to put a behind them. But the land that's behind me, that's down Bethany Road, if y'all if y'all hang in there, then that land will sell and it will be developed by people on two and a half acres. Thank you, Mr. Evans. All right, our final speaker is